TV4 News at 6 starts now. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Akana. Too many special funds and revolving funds and not enough oversight. That's the conclusion of a state auditor's report that looked at how state finances are controlled. KITV4's Andrew Pereira reports. When state lawmakers hit the brakes on controversial van cams in 2002, three and a half million dollars to support the project sat inside a revolving fund, undetected for nine years. The tracking that's supposed to be occurring is not giving the legislature enough information. The audit found the number of special and revolving funds has increased eightfold since 1983. Currently, 729 non-general funds and accounts hold almost two and a half billion dollars in unencumbered cash. I think that's a little too much. <laughs> and, you know, maybe we'll have to go back and take a look at all of these special and revolving funds. Think of each of these cars as a special fund. If taxpayer money is dispersed among all of them, well, it's a lot harder to keep track of. It's almost shooting themselves in the foot because that gives them less general fund money to decide from year to year um, the priorities for that time. Although half of all state revenue is now placed outside of the general fund, the House Speaker disagrees the legislature is losing control of state finances. Yes, you have a special fund, but we control the ceiling of that special fund. However, in one example, state lawmakers raided $16 million from the state's enhanced wireless 911 fund even though it violated federal law. The feds could ask for the money back. So we have a $16 million question in front of us right now. The state auditor makes several recommendations, including evidence of the need for a special or revolving fund, instituting regular reviews of all special funds, and establishing a clear link between program users and revenue sources. Probably you'll see one or two of the recommendations being enacted by the legislature. Now, Governor Neil Abercrombie's administration has not taken a position on the auditor's recommendations, but the Deputy Budget and Finance Director says the governor is committed to a more transparent budget process. Paula, back to you. All right, thank you, Andrew. And we were off that air just off air just for a few moments at the beginning of this newscast, so we hope to bring you more on that story, Andrew's story on those state funds tonight on KITV4 News at 10.